think the role of a curator in a museum is really multifaceted. It's not the same thing every, every day. It's, it's always changing. On a given day, you might give a tour, a tour to the public, to students, or maybe to some possible donors at the museum. You're definitely in meetings. I think that's the, the way of museums and, and the world, the meetings, email, voicemail, those are all part of the day. I try to spend some part of the day with the actual art and whether that's walking through the galleries to observe how people are experiencing an exhibition or visiting the vaults to look at a painting or a print that I haven't seen before. The process of finding different artists is very dynamic and, and challenging, but all in positive ways. I will visit artist studios. I pretty much end up meeting with at least one artist a week. Sometimes it's five, depends on, on the week. I think it's part of my job to educate myself about what's happening here in Miami. I'm a curator living in Miami. I'm not working in a vacuum. Uh, so I spend a lot of time going to non-for-profit uh, spaces, commercial galleries, other museums, and again, artist studios um, to really learn about the work that's made here. There are differences between curating at a smaller space versus a larger institution. But one thing I do always say is no matter the number of staff members at your gallery, museum, alternative space, it's always challenging to put together an exhibition. You know, I've worked at spaces where there's three or four people and I've worked at spaces where there's more than 80. And at the end of the day, there's always challenges and, and always um, a kind of scramble a little bit at the end to realize an exhibition. I think it's very important to be cognizant of the fact that we live in Miami. Uh, Miami is a global city. Uh, some people say it's the most northern city in the Caribbean. And it's fitting when you look at our collection. We have a very strong collection of Caribbean art. I'm in the beginning stages of working on an exhibition on our Haitian art collection. We have more than 400 works of Haitian art in our collection, which is a very sizable holding of Haitian art if you look at other museums in the US. Uh, we also have um, great Cuban painting. I have several paintings by both Cuban and Cuban American artists on view on our third floor, and three paintings by Jamaican artists as well. Uh, so there's so many research projects that we need to do about our collection, and I'm really excited about thinking about ways to draw a connection between our permanent collection and the communities that surround us. Our current exhibition on view is Art After Stonewall. And the curator is Jonathan Weinberg, and he developed this project with Daniel Marcus and Drew Sawyer. It's a show that opened in New York this summer and then came here to Miami. We're very proud to present it, more than 200 works uh, from 1969 to 1989. It really looks at the impact of the gay liberation movement on visual culture, although it's been really important for us to say that you know the show sort of starts with Stonewall, 1969. Uh, the Stonewall Uprising is an achievement of gay liberation. We're not saying it's the beginning of gay liberation because of course, for many decades, people had been fighting uh, for, for gay liberation. Uh, the show includes big names like Andy Warhol, uh, Robert Maplethorpe, uh, Louise Bourgeois, Alice Neal, uh, but also lesser known artists. And, and in that way, I think it's also a retelling of um, that time period's art history. You know, at its root, a curator is really meant to care, to care for the collection, um, to care for exhibitions, uh, and to engage in education and outreach.